As the fight against the Serbs worsened during the Yugoslavian Civil War in the early 1990s, Croatian soldiers fighting on the side of the Bosnians did everything they could to survive. Footage taken in 1992 near Livno in Bosnia shows Croatian men on top of a large mountain standing beside a round-shaped naval mine used on dry land. After telling the cameraman to duck, the men pushed the naval mine down a rocky hill intending to hurt the Serbian forces below. They then wait while the device rolls, nervously expecting to hear a loud bang. And then it finally comes. Rolling down the hill. Strange footage taken over 30 years ago during the Croatian independence war against the Serbs recently showed up in the depths of the internet, eerily depicting what the Slavs were willing to do to ensure victory. As the shaky video pans out in the forest, it shows two naval mines sitting atop a mountain, seemingly out of their element. Its origin is unknown, but it was filmed near Livno, a densely lumbering city in western Bosnia and Herzegovina. According to a general talking directly to the camera, a naval mine or anti-ship mine can be used at a maximum altitude of 5,700 meters, and the group's actions were possibly the first and only time the device was used at such heights. After warning the cameraman to not get too close to the dangerous charge, the general adds that he and his team will push the naval mine off the large mountain and on top of the enemy. While much of the dialogue is intelligible, the group suddenly begins to roll the naval mine carefully down the hill, and one voice can be heard saying, quote, Release the sphere, and it'll take care of everything. The general then menacingly states, quote, Tell those people we're coming. The bomb has already been released into the forest. War in the Balkans The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was founded in 1943, right in the middle of World War II. Made up of six different republics, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia, the Balkans' population comprised Muslims, Catholics, and Orthodox citizens living somewhat cohesively. Still, the multi-ethnic and cultural differences between the factions led to a large number of conflicts. Following the passing of ruler Marshal Josip Tito in 1980, ethnic nationalist tensions rose to immeasurable levels. As the country disintegrated along the marked ethnic lines by 1991, Slovenia and Croatia declared their independence, prompting years of war that destroyed a large part of the Balkans. During this time, Serbia gained significant territorial expansion, almost doubling its territory. Then, a year later, 99.7% of the citizens of Bosnia-Herzegovina, a predominantly Muslim nation, voted to become an independent nation, supported by Croatia and other countries. Enraged, Bosnian Serb leadership boycotted the referendum to prevent independence, but the Bosnia-Herzegovina nation became internationally recognized in April of 1992. Immediately after, the Serb forces seized the country's capital of Sarajevo, leading to a four-year-long campaign of dread and persecution. During the Bosnian War, the Serbs, led by General Ratko Mladic, used shelling and sniping to target civilian areas and key institutions, inflicting terror upon the entire population. The conflict also brought thousands of casualties, family displacement, and destroyed buildings. Moreover, the city of Livno in western Bosnia-Herzegovina became a combat zone, and a mix of drunkenness, depression, apathy, constant violence, and instability created a strange mood. As the conflict heated, the Bosnians and Croatians fought the Yugos with whatever they had at hand, including impressively innovative and unique warfare methods. The naval mine rolling down a hill in 1992 is proof of that. Naval Mines
A naval mine is a self-contained explosive placed in water intended to damage, hamper, or destroy surface ships or submarines. While dangerous and unorthodox, improvisational warfare techniques were standard in the Yugoslavia of the 1990s. Because the former Yugoslavia is near the Adriatic Sea, the army began to stock naval mines in the country to be used in case the Cold War escalated. Thus, when active civil combat broke out, the desperate soldiers from the fractured factions of the former Yugoslavia were left with thousands of unused naval mines in their armories. With the fighting getting increasingly desperate, the Croatians and Bosnians tried to make do with whatever they could get their hands on, including the explosive naval mines. And as the video made its way through the internet, the main questions revolved around how a naval mine ended up in a mountain and how it was detonated. The footage shows that after the men push the naval mine, it goes out of sight as it plunges deep into the forest. A short silence is then felt until the device explodes in the very last few seconds, leaving the fate of its effectiveness and intended objective uncertain. Theories According to several people, the naval mine in the video was some sort of remote device. Such weapons were ubiquitous during World War II and can still be found in the Baltic Sea. However, other commenters believe it was a timer fuse, as such old controlled naval mines didn't have individual radio receivers and were wired to a central one instead. Another option could be a magnetic or contact sensor, but several critics claim that the mine would have been set off as soon as one of the bomb's bumps pressed against the ground. It is also believed that the soldier with the scoped rifle lunging at the end of the video is supposedly attempting to put down the survivors. However, several sources claim that instead of attacking them, the soldiers in the video only expected to trigger a response from the Serbs and force them to run away and take cover. Survival of the Fittest How exactly the naval mine got to the top of the mountain remains unclear, but rolling a naval mine down a rocky hill is not the only peculiar thing that the Croatian soldiers did during the Independence War. It is documented that the soldiers also made barrel bombs from boilers and old gas bottles stuffed with explosives and metal fragments. They then threw the homemade devices out the windows of an old Anatov AN-2 biplane. Local authorities estimate that there are as many as 5,000 unexploded naval mine devices deep inside the Adriatic Sea. During the Yugoslavian Civil War, all the involved nations' armies defended themselves by using one too many innovative warfare tactics. The Serbs, while militarily superior during the early stages of the conflict because of the weapons and resources provided by the Yugoslav People's Army, eventually lost momentum as the Bosniaks and the Croats joined forces against them. This led to the creation of the foundation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The war eventually ended after the General Framework Agreement for Peace in Bosnia and Herzegovina was signed in Paris on December 14, 1995. Still, the years-long conflict continues to affect the small nations that were involved, and the war is considered one of the most vicious of the post-war period. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. If you enjoyed our video about the story behind this unique footage from the Bosnian War, make sure to hit the like button. And for more historical content with a unique twist, subscribe to all the channels from our Dark Documentaries family. Stay tuned.